guys and girls. So today is an end of an era, as they say. Um, if you've been following some of the other videos that I've made, we purchased a Ryobi self-propelled battery or cordless lawnmower, and the time has come to say goodbye to this old beast here. So this is a Mastercraft um, two-in-one lawnmower with a four horsepower Tecumseh engine on it. It was purchased, uh, it would have been in the early 90s. I've had it for approximately 30 years. If it's not 30, it's about 28, 29. Uh, I used to cut grass with it as a teenager, so I'd cut anywhere between two and four grasses a week. Plus I'd cut my parents' grass, and then I've been using it every weekend uh, that there's grass and there's grass to cut since then. So to say that this thing has been reliable and um, dependable and a great mower is, is probably a bit of an understatement. And that's why I'm doing this video. I know this won't resonate with a lot of people, but some people will know exactly where I'm coming from. When you use something this long, it's, it, it's almost like a family member. Not quite, but almost, you know? Yes, I needed to prime this thing between 50 and 60 times to get it to start. Yes, I needed to use ether or, or starting fluid to get it going, but this thing has been just, just as reliable as I could want. The wheels have been replaced. These are from Princess Auto. I've replaced them probably about, oh, maybe close to 10 years ago. Um, and as you can see, it's got a lot of tuck tape on it. And that's what's actually holding a lot of this together right now. We actually did repairs at one point um, with Bondo and uh, Kitty Hair to try to fix everything up because we were getting holes just like you see right here. But it's just gotten too far out of control underneath here. You can see that we've actually patched everything back together and uh yeah it's holding it together now but i mean this thing is it's seen as day i couldn't ask for any more from a lawnmower replace the uh rubber on the handles we replaced the pull cord obviously we've done things like oil changes replace the spark plugs but i mean we haven't done a ton of maintenance with this thing and it's given us no issues, like I said, other than some starting issues, which happened later in its life. So it's kind of hard to see because everything's caked under here right now. But you can see that this little area here has rotted out. Right here, big hole in here, same thing right here. Hello. Um, yeah, it's, it's seen its day and it's really sad to see it go. But with gas prices the way that they are now, uh, they're just over $2 a liter here in Canada. I'm not sure what they are in the States. You can see all the screws that I put in there. Um, so to fill up a 10, 10 liter jerry can was gonna cost me 20 bucks. And that probably won't do me the season. So I figured I'd bite the bullet, spend the $750, get a free tool with it, because that was the promotion. And, you know, hopefully move on to bigger and better things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna primer. For those of you that uh, weren't counting, that's 60. We're gonna take our starting fluid, take the filter off, give her a shot.
can see you just had to prime it a bunch of times but I mean this thing's ready to go um, I, I can't say enough about this four, four horsepower Tecumseh engine I've had Briggs in the past um, the newer Briggs especially they got a bunch of plastic in the carburetors uh, this this four horse Tecumseh I, I had to take the carb apart a couple times to clean it out because it had gotten some ethanol gummed up in there but she's ready to go again and I just having these sentimental feelings and I know it's irrational it's a it's a tool but I mean when it's been around for nearly 30 years it's uh it's kind of sad so I bid you adieu old girl so if you're looking for a new lawnmower, I'm not leading you towards getting the Ryobi. We're going to do some more videos on that. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I can tell you right now, this thing vibrates so much compared to that mower. And it's so loud and obviously is just a pain in the you know what to start up. So, you know, so far I am happy with my Ryobi purchase other than the fact that I had to take it back. Because uh, it was having issues with the blade impacting the uh, deck but that's going to be another video we've done done an exchange on it now and we're ready to go but you know this this mower other than the deck and the uh the bad condition that it's in um it would go for another however many years you know so a testament to canadian tire I'm not supported i'm not supported by them i'm not sponsored by them but it's a true testament to canadian tire and uh, the products that they carry. They are meant for Canadians, built for Canadians in our climate. And uh, I just can't say enough. So I really will miss this old girl. I really will. We've done a lot of work together, a lot of good. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, you know, think about giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. And you can tell me why down in those comments where we're open to constructive criticism for sure. Anything that uh, can make the channel better, I'm more than more than willing to listen to. If you have any questions down there, put them down in the comments below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you're looking for information on uh, some new yard products, how to maintain your property, how to maintain your house, how to maintain your vehicles, you're in the right place. It might not be the flashiest content, but it's gonna have a lot of good information in there because anyone is possible. You just have to remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, old friend. Really can't say enough. Really appreciate everything you did for me, my family, everything. Thank you so much. Go on and become other lawnmowers and other pieces of equipment and serve the world some good. Safe travels, my friend.